Welcome to another video. In this one I show you how you can change a power outlet and before we begin I want to warn you, you should not try this at home, you should call an electrician to replace this for you just to be 100% safe. This is dangerous, don't try this at home. Here I was using a electrician screwdriver. This thing, you it goes in the power point on a wire, on a bare wire. And the other end goes the finger it has a resistor inside so it didn't shock me but if i put, would put my finger on the wire without this it would the problem here is there was a one of the legs of one plug got broken and it's stuck inside the socket so i have to either remove it or just replace the socket completely before going forward I turned off the power from the main board to all the sockets and I checked that the power is indeed off and now I'm removing the two screws this is for the UK plug style but it works on really all the European plugs are pretty much the same without the switches there's always two screws on the left and right now these wires here even if you're sure the power is off, do not touch them. No need to touch them. And I used the electric screwdriver to make sure the light inside didn't blink on any of them, so it's uh, still off. Even like this, I wasn't really touching them using a screwdriver that is insulated. So, yeah. First noticing that how the, the wall socket is installed with the wires and I cover them and I left them for a short while while checking the actual socket to see if I can replace them that's the live neutral and so live neutral and then the ground is on the lower side you see that's the pin I couldn't get it out so I went to the shop plenty of these things everywhere exactly the same model even the price was not bad at all your model might be different but it doesn't matter if you call an electrician they will sort out for you you don't have to buy the the socket here checking with this uh, screwdriver to make sure they are still not live yeah while doing this make sure that nobody will turn on the switches back it could happen and if you cannot access the switches, it's, there are devices to lock the actual panel switch so nobody can turn it on even if they want to. But in this case, it was in line of sight, so there was nobody in the room with me and uh, there wasn't any surprises. Reinstalling the wires in the socket, it's pretty simple. Just make sure that I, I was making sure that tightening it really well. And also I noticed it's better if in this case there were two wires going like this. It was it's how it was done before. I wanted to do it the same way, not to change anything. And it helps if they're parallel to each other so the pressure is even. Making sure that none of these wires are loose. If they are loose it's a big problem. They could overheat and it could even start a fire, so you really don't want them to be loose there. And folding them back as they were, as they, they were done originally from the beginning. Now just time to put the screws back and hope it still works. Yeah, the main thing there is to tighten the screws well enough and make sure to wiggle the cables a little bit to, to be sure that they are not loose. It could happen, it happened to me, the screw was tight, but because there were two, there could be even more there, one of them was loose. So I turned back on the panel from for the plugs here. And this is, uh, it's just a switch with LEDs, the lights inside it, and those turn on. You can, you should be using a proper tester, especially the UK model. This, there are testers for this that check the um, the wires if they're installed in the right way. I didn't install new wires. I just installed them as they were from the begin, from before, 
so I hope they were installed properly. But I will put links in the description for the screwdrivers, electric screwdrivers, the insulated ones, and the tester. Thanks for watching. Bye.